All right, coaches, I just want to talk to you a little bit about what I saw last night. Uh, for those of you that follow football everything, you know that I'm a big fan of uh, under center, one back, 11, 12 personnel football. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. We can argue to death what's better, what's worse. This shit keeps working. It's uh, nearly 70% of all NFL snaps. Um, the formations, personnel groupings haven't gone away. Uh, it's snowing, game's on the line. You need something you can count on. Here we go, Denver, New England. This is some good cut-up film. I want to just make the point here. We got uh, you know eight in the box. We've got nine, ten, and we've got a man free in the back to the wide side of the field. Uh, this this is a tough play. The game's on the line, midfield, third and one. Uh, I think right before this play, Osweiler calls a timeout. Didn't like what he saw. I wouldn't like what I see either. You got like what 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 appears to be a blitz look going on here. This is dangerous. This young guy back here's got to get his footing before he can make a decent uh, read on this on this first down, and uh, I don't think it's going to happen. Uh, you, you can't just take off in the snow uh, and run an inside zone for you know one, two yards when the game's online. So Osweiler's smart enough to get a hold of Kubiak. Kubiak uh, dials up a uh, what I'd call a bunch left, truck left. Uh, this is something I've taught at the high school level. I love it. It works. It was given to me by the mastermind, Bill Mountjoy. I owe everything to that guy. That guy's just a just walking encyclopedia. Um, anyways, the document I'm going to show you on this is uh, it's said directly from him. If you have any questions on this play, I can give you free cut-ups from my high school teams. I can uh, give you whiteboard uh, things that I've done and also you know clips like this. Here we go. Vernon Davis is tight end off the ball. You know, pretty pretty simple. We got two flanks, one on the ball, one off the ball. What's going to happen here? We're going to get a tackle that ends up pulling. Vernon Davis ends up pulling. We get a gap down, gap down, and center all the way back. I don't care if you got a flank or a tight end or wing back here. Blocking rules are rip reach through your play side gap. We're going to let this roll, and we're going to that end zone footage. Here we go. You'll notice here, everybody's rip, re rip reaching from the center back. We've got our tackle play side, and we've got Vernon Davis pulling. Here we go. Nice fit by Vernon. We've got eyes up from the center and the tackle. Here we go. Cut one by the tackle. Cut two by the center. This is going to be a hard play for this uh, this safety out here to make. It's snowing. It's snowing. Remember that, guys. This guy's running towards the play. He can't just stop. Good luck with that one. C.J. Anderson takes off for a big game. Let's see it one more time. Here we go. Rip reach, center backside. Tackle pull, Vernon pull, center cut. Nice play. Now, before we move any further... Just want to kind of share with you one of the documents I've had. Here's the way I teach it. The only difference between the way I teach it and the way we saw it last night was I put my tight end on the ball. I call this trips right. You can call it bunch right. You got a tight end H and a flank. Either way, it doesn't matter. Don't don't get it too complicated. Here we go. Gap down, gap down, gap down. Right? Tackle pull. Everybody else, guard center, guard tackle. Rip reach to the gap. Cut off the backside guy in pursuit. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I got this document if you're interested in it. It's got all the different defensive fronts and how to block them up. This is typically a document that I send over to the coaches. Okay, I don't give this to the kids. The key here is you've got to get lots of game film in. You've got to have good communication with the coaches. And you've got to be able to teach this to your coaches first. Then your coaches have to teach to the players. We use a numbering system backside. Rules are tackle pulls, everyone plays side gaps down. You're interested in this document, I can send it off to you. Message me on football everything, we're good to go. We're going to let this play kind of go through. I'm going to take you over to the uh, the footage where uh, we're from the uh, end zone footage. Here we go. Let's stop it right here. <clears throat> good clip, good clip, okay? Center covered, <clears throat> guard covered, tackle's going to pull, 80's going to pull, 16's going to gap down, 10's going to gap down. Great way to deal with this. Collinsworth's going to say the same thing. This is beautiful. 61, 68, and eight all out, 80 all out in front. Good stuff. Let's hit that one more time. Coaches, truck toss. This stuff's been around for a long time. Joe Gibbs ran it a lot. 
It's really good stuff. See it one more time. You, you know, you know, I, I, I can't say enough. Look, look, look at 73 on the backside. I mean, this guy's working. He, he's, he's working his ass off to get to that, to that opposite armpit. You know, and does just enough. 97 is a great athlete. You know, 73 put just enough hands on him to potentially stop that from being a tackle. I mean, look how close this comes. Wow. Good stuff, Kubiak. This is a great play. You know, one of the things I want to say here is uh, I don't know if a lot of you saw the the game, the Baylor game this last weekend, but uh, Baylor needed a needed a short yardage in the rain. They ended up going under center. It was the damn ugliest formation I've seen in a long time, and I think they had two shots at it couldn't get it. Um, you know, this is a simple play you can practice, you can install. Uh, don't be one of those coaches to be so narrow-minded that you don't look at football for what it is. You know, you can spread the field vertically or horizontally. Don't get so narrow-minded that you have to be in the gun every time. Don't be so narrow-minded that you can't have any damn receivers on the field, right? So just, just keep this in mind. If you're interested in truck toss, great play works. It's uh, proven. And, uh, you know, I was really impressed. When I saw this, I, I, my eyes and my, my brain lit up like a Christmas tree. So, hey, coaches, keep at it. Keep grinding on them. Be relentless. Let's get it.